Okay, folks, now I'm going to show you the mechanics of how I did this. So you can better protect your flag and your property from dummies who don't know how to stay off your property. Now, you got your flag. It depends on what flag you have. I just happen to have a pirate flag because this high school I went to, their, their quote-unquote mascot was a pirate. So this is showing my pride anyway. Anyway, this is how it's made. <laughs> how I made it. This little plastic tub here you can get from Dollar Tree. This door alarm you can get from Dollar Tree. This array of magnets I got from Lowe's. It was like a eight pack for two dollars and something. And the reason why you need the magnets, as you can see I hot glued them on there because it's the only way. I, I know it's not neat but the main objective here is keeping people from taking my stuff. And how it works is you have to have a magnet close to the speaker here because there's some kind of mechanism there that detects if a magnet near it. If it's near it, it stays off. If it's, it's not, it goes off. So what I did was first I had to drill holes into the metal bracket back here so that way I can run zip ties through it and, and reinforce it, the tub onto the metal bracket here. Now I was going to use screws but I figured it would just be faster to cut the zip ties out so that way if I need to do maintenance on like the bracket sometime which this is glued in there so that's not really coming out anytime soon um, I know there's other professional ways to do it but I take the path least resistance so anyway so I, after I did that I mounted the zip ties I had to drill some holes into the tub and like I said the tubs from Dollar Tree you can get these all day the alarm I might actually get a probably five or six more in the future just in case the reason why I have it in the tub is to protect it from rain or the speaker anyway so when it rains it should just bounce off of this and just drip down onto the ground like it would normally kind of the same way your gutter works but anyway this system should help you catch anybody taking your flag much quicker versus not being able to know if it's gone at all and how it works is let me demonstrate this is demonstrating that somebody's pulling your flag and running off it, or at least, at least pulling it out of the holster. This is what's going to happen. So as you can see, no one is going to steal this without being noticed. Now, in my particular case, I've actually installed motion lights as well as surveillance system outside to keep an eye on the street that I live on. So, either way, I'm going to catch whoever it is. That's no question about that. But, for those adventurous kids out there who don't have nothing else better to do than take people's property that they didn't pay for, it's not theirs, then sometimes you have to take measures like this. So, hope you learned something today, and hopefully this will help you kind of ward off those thieves per se. Now this isn't going to work for every flag pole. This one is one of those three-fourth inch poles, just the ones you get at Walmart. And of course you get the bracket with it. And this setup may not work for you. That's all you have to may have to modify it a little bit. But in general, you should be okay. And also if you do do something similar to mine, leave some space so that way you can pop the battery compartment open inside and change your batteries and just put the cover back on. And of course, the average thief isn't going to be looking to see what this is. All they want is the flag, so as soon as they try to take it, they're going to learn the day. This is what they say. But anyway, this is just an idea for you if someone keeps stealing your stuff. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.